All right, and we are live. Hi, everybody. It's Donkey Sean Jr. and Brett. Hi. You need to have, do you need a nickname? We need to call Just call me, me Brett. That's fine. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are live. It is retro night tonight, so uh, we're playing a little bit of everything. And, uh, yeah, we're going to start off with some classic kung fu because I always find it's a really fun warm-up game. And it gives me a chance to, like, come up with something that I can play that I don't have to, like, kill myself trying to beat the first time through. And, uh... Oh, you can hear that? <sighs> Hold on one sec. Um, let's see. What is coming through? Oh, I see what's coming through. Sorry, got a little audio bleed over here. Alright, that's muted. And that is off. Cool. You know what? I just realized I left something else off, too. There's too many things to do when you have to stream. Like, I have to have a checklist to turn everything on, and it's such a pain in my butt. We just need to hire somebody to, like, do this for us. It was Captain Fuzznuts. That was the name of the guy last night who I was chatting with. He was talking about Linux distros. And I didn't understand a word of it, but it was fascinating. Linux. What's that? Oh, that's some crazy shit. All right. I'll just leave it on here. I don't care. Uh, where were we? We we, we did a warm-up game. Do you want to play? Uh, I, thought you were gonna, I thought you were going to show everyone how great you are at Kung Fu. I mean, I can try. Here we go. We haven't streamed in forever together. I feel like... I'm trying to think of the last time we did it. It was like Thanksgiving, wasn't it? Like, I feel like we missed yeah. all of December. We, well, we were both sick, and then it was the holidays, and... Harold? It's tough. I think once you beat... I've already beaten this once through. I think the things get faster. It's true. The holidays mess everything up. Not in the bad way, but just in a schedule way. Did you get any uh, notable gifts? I got some uh, some stuff for the stream, like a green screen and a new lighting kit, and uh, a new webcam that has like a ring light around it. It's the Razer one. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And uh, I got a couple of games boxed uh, Friday the 13th, Ghoul School. Did you get anything cool? I got a bunch of video games. Nice. So far, my favorite ones have been surprise. Cuphead and uh, the new Metroid for 3DS. Cuphead is a very good game. I enjoyed it a lot. I Did mean, you play through the whole thing? I got about a third of the way through and then I kind of just stopped. Not because I didn't like it, but just I got, I don't know, I got sidetracked. My problem is that I just need to quit my job and just play video games full time. Because there's too many good games and I don't have time to go through them all. Yeah, and I wonder if you'll want to play them when you're retired. I don't know, because then it'll be like, I have all the, I'll have the option to do it, and then I'll be like, no, I don't want to, because I don't feel like it. It's kind of like when we take off days to have, like, LAN parties at Sl at Slavos, and we end up not playing anything, because we just end up being so excited about the opportunity to play, that we don't actually play anything. I'm trying to remember the last time that happened. We were playing WoW, and we literally played WoW for, like, ten minutes. Because we were so excited about having the opportunity to play WoW that we kept being like, Alright, we need to get lunch. Alright, we should get drinks for tonight. Alright. And then a whole bunch of people came over and then he was hanging out with them. And I was like, alright, I guess I'll just play WoW by myself. And we played for like an hour. And that was it. And that was like a whole weekend. But it was totally worth it. I'd totally do it again. It's the price of getting old, man. I was actually laughing because I realized when I was coming down the stairs to start this tonight that um, I had kind of a funny... Like, it's... It's not a funny uh, topic, but I have kind of an interesting uh, thing I wanted to ask you about. Because, I don't know, we hadn't streamed since uh, it happened, but... Um, the guitar player from one of your favorite bands passed away this, this November. Who's that? Malcolm Young. Oh. Of ACDC fame. Yeah, I know who it is. <laughs> no, I know, but I was going to say, I was going to ask if you were... Uh, 
sad about it or happy. No, I'm not happy about it. I don't I mean, want not happy. to die. <laughs> yes. I just like your guitar playing so much. I'm sad about the it. The band sucks, dude. That's the end of it. Everybody knows they suck, too. Even the fans. <laughs> Going the wrong way here. I don't think they suck. I think they're awesome. Nah. Greatest fan ever. No. <laughs> Come on, man. Highway to hell. Night Prowler. I just like to use that as an excuse to sing. Well, you know what I think? I think maybe it's that I'm jealous that they're so popular for a band that really doesn't have any substance to the music. Hurl. I just got double duped. I think the reason why I like ACDC is because they're kind of like the, you know, they're like the, the, they're like a punk rock band. They're like, you don't have to be, I know it sounds like I'm, I'm making fun of them, but it's like, you don't have to be, your music doesn't have to be like super crazy in depth to be good. It just has to be good. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's, That's the thing, though. If they were a punk rock band, I think I'd change my mind. Yeah. And I do think that Bon Scott was one of the best rock singers in that time. Not a huge fan of Brian Johnson, but I can understand why people like him. Oh my god, that was so close. The secret to the bug part is to, to just Yeah, run. just go. Don't if you If you start trying to fight him, you're just going to get ripped. Shit, man. Oh, and he's got that little high pitch one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this second time through. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Same thing as the punch out one. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yep. It's a standard laugh. Is it okay track. to steal other game sounds? In this I guess so, because, I mean, it was Nintendo back in the day. You used to do it all the time. Because this is Irem, pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I have Smart Next too? We should play that one. With that guy. And that other that punk guy with the stance. The problem is I keep getting duked on by the other guys. It's not it's not the boss. I can't get close enough to hit him, and then I he gets stuck in the He goes all the way to the back and I get him stuck in some crap loop. Nice. There we go. I'm trying. Ping pong. Oh, no life either? This game's getting chintzy on me. Wait, are you allowed to say that? Is that a bad word? Chintzy? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I don't know what I'm supposed to say or not. That's why I just shut up most of the time. People ask me questions at work and I just get up and walk away. You answer with a fart? <laughs> <laughs> I should. Shit. Oh, tricky. I played the crap out of this game when I was growing up. I'm not actually like super good at it, but I uh, see you just jump and it knocks him down. But uh, this was the first game of rage. This is the first game I ever raged out about. I told I've told this story before, but um, I made it to this level and I was in my parents' room and we had the old uh, new tone TV. And I made it to this level, and there's a thunderstorm outside, and the damn, the power went out. And I got so mad, I threw the controller across the room, and I bit the power t knob on the TV. Does this, does this health regenerate? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. He's got that sweet parry move. Active frames. I've watched that video of Daigo doing that like a hundred times, and I still have no idea. What, I mean, I know what he's doing is crazy, but I have no idea what he's doing. Right, it's just exciting as shit. You know, I'm like, whatever it is, it must be incredible. But well, I what he had that to do is, is uh, press the direction toward the enemy at every hit, perfectly in time. And it sounds not that hard, but it's no, very it difficult be because when, in Street Fighter, you're talking frames 
you know, you're not talking seconds, right. you're talking frames. So, like a kick may be active for like three frames and you would have to press the direction at that exact moment. If you mess up, you get hit. Right. So, now, now parries are a bit more forgiving. Usually, it's it's got some wiggle room in terms of how many frames you have to hit it. Right. But still, God it's it's nuts it. to be able to parry like a super move. Super art. I can imagine. Hey, what's up, Nintendo? Thanks for stopping by. And we just, I'm, I met this, this, uh, fellow streamer on our Facebook group the other, uh, this, this, yesterday or this morning, I forget. I said the time is all screwed up because I was up till three o'clock last night streaming. Like a dumb so this is loop three? Yeah. Loop three is starting to get criminal. Because I keep cheating, I keep looking down at the, uh, I keep trying to look down at the chat, and every time I do that, the game knows that I'm not looking, so that's when it brings in the knife man. Well, I thought it was, I think it's kind of unfair that I feel like he's, that guy's dressed like a sushi chef, and I feel like that's kind of, I don't think that's right. Yeah, man, fourth floor. That, that's, that's the level that separates the gamers from the children. Oh! You're so PC, man. You're getting pooped on. Trying. Good job. I have to censor myself because I have, now that I have a child, I got to be careful. Because <laughs> he really, they, he's, he's 21 months old and they definitely pick up on everything. He picks up on everything I say. And I know it's only a matter of time before he starts dropping some, oh, no, so much for this run. Oh, you piece of crap. <laughs> I know. Nick, Nick is also a parent. He mentioned that. And, uh, yeah, I have to be so careful. Now all the time I just stop myself, and that's how I'm going to have a heart attack. Because I get so raged up, and I just have to bottle it up. <laughs> and that's what happens. That's why dads have heart attacks, I guess. Because I'm just sitting there, and all of a sudden I'm like, I gotta do the... It may also have to do with uh, steak, like, four times a week or whatever. Yeah, the fact that I smoke meat, like, every weekend. And... You know what I've been really into lately? Dr. Pepper. I don't know if anybody to, else feels To that drink way. or to cook with? To drink. And to cook with. It's good. With some ice? Yeah. It's good. It's true. Curse words are way easier to pronounce. And they know that it's bad, so they, like... I feel like they get into it more. Oh, man, I'm getting ripped on. It's somersault in my head. <laughs> oh, it's so out of control. The other day I had to stop myself because my son likes to go into the kitchen and play with the cabinets and I'm so afraid he's going to like rip one of the cabinet doors off because he's already done that to another piece of furniture and uh, there's like two cabinets and when you open them the door, like the handles, will click together and it makes a super high pitched like clacking sound and it just, it's like nails on a chalkboard and he kept doing it more this morning and I almost like blew up at him. But then I remember he's like 21 months. And then like, you know, you can't help it because I'm a softie when it comes to discipline. So, you know, he looks over and smiles at me. And I'm like, all right, you're fine. You can keep doing it. Out it's tricky. It's an easy kick. Oh, rah, damn it. Whoa, they're going fast now. Yeah, ranking system in this game. This gets crazy. Trying not to cause too much trouble. I've always wondered what like the world record for this game is, and I know when I see it I'm gonna get super upset. That's Damn. right. I'll let that duck ducking and kicking in this game is the most important thing. Oh, that's awesome. Um what uh with, you don't have to be super specific, but like, what state is that in? That's cool. Nick, one of the guys who's uh, watching, he has some friends who own a retro game shop, and they actually have the Kung Fu Arcade Machine. Whoa. Which I didn't even know was a thing until very recently. It's it's not... It's an actual arcade version of the game, not... Yeah, it's like not like a VS. VS. Okay. In a VS business. Uh, go faster, go faster. Oh, you bastard. This is it. This is the no more screw around level. It wouldn't be so bad, but once you beat it the first time, the dudes keep coming. That's like the big difference. Oh. 
stop! Oh, you piece of crap. When he disappears like that, it goes away. Oh, in uh, San Angelo, Texas. You travel to Texas on occasion. I do go to Texas pretty oh. often. Your turn. You want to play? Oh, can we play a different uh, game? Yeah, you want to switch something over real fast? Mm-hmm. All right, go. Okay. Just switch it live. We, we, won't, we don't need the break. Let's just go. We're switching up games because Brett doesn't like Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> 